going on guys and today i want to talk about the nba trade eric bledsoe justice winslow and keon johnson and a second round pick are going to the Portland trailblazers for norman powell and robert covington which robert covington is a better defensive version of justin winslow so let's talk about it the clippers are acquiring norman powell and robert covington in a trade with the trailblazers sending reserve players eric bledsoe justice winslow k on johnson who you know was a first round pick this year who set an nba combine record of 48 inch vertical and Part of that deal, like I said, is a 2025 pick from the Clippers. And look, Powell heads to the Clippers after playing 40 games for Portland this season, averaging 18.7 points a game, 3.3 rebounds, 2.1 assists. The 28-year-old won a championship with the Raptors in 2019 before being traded to the Blazers in March of 2021. Covington's been averaging 7.6 points, 5.7 rebounds this year. And the Clippers are 27-27, and 27, sitting in 8th place in the Western Conference. So how does this help them? I want to hear your thoughts down below in the comment section. What do you think of this deal? and all that good stuff now what do i find interesting well what i find interesting as i take a sip of my smoothie from smoothie king is this deal okay what i find very interesting is look norman powell's a guy who's been playing out of position he's been playing the small forward position for the trailblazers because they've been running you know anthony simons cj mccall and norman powell now with norman powell going here he'll go back to his normal position of shooting guard and Paul George will play the small forward position, most likely Kawhi will play power forward, which will allow them to go back to having Zubak, Ibaka at the center position. And Batum will probably play power forward, small forward. And I, I do think this is a good deal because I like it. it. It gives the Clippers a lot more depth, better defensive player. Robert Covington's a 3 and D guy, even though the threes aren't falling like they should be. But it's a good deal because, look, this is a team at first glance it's an incredible deal because you know powell's having a fantastic year shooting 46 percent from the field 40 percent almost 41 percent from deep and they're acquiring a player of his caliber without giving up luke Kennard, marcus morris nicholas batum or even zubak okay and this is a massive win for a clippers team that seeks a championship when they are fully healthy and i know bledsoe and winslow have had play productive roles for this team at some times but their value in this deal is directly tied to them being near expiring contracts. Winslow is only owed 4.9 million. Bledsoe is owed 3.9. So in exchange, these two for nearly $80 million in the remaining for Norman Powell, it's a good deal for, you know, Trailblazers. And I, I think, look, I know this is really the prize is, and it sucks that Johnson leaves because he was a guy who looks like he's going to develop good because he's been playing phenomenal in the G League. But I will admit that they had to pay the price because they didn't give up anything super valuable. So I know it might be a deal that some people, if you're a Blazers fan, you might have not wanted, you know, not a Blazers fan, but if you're a Clippers fan and you wanted Keon Johnson to play, you probably didn't want that. But look, people have said, look, following the Clippers win over the Los Angeles Lakers on Thursday night, head coach Ty Lu told reporters that Kawhi Leonard is probably not returning from the, the torn ACL this season. And with Paul George still indefinitely sidelined with that elbow injury, the Clippers are in need of some reinforcements. They'll get an offensive boost from, you know, Norman Powell. And in the meantime, they get Covington to help them solve, solidify a defense that's already strong. And I know that, I know it's not perfect, but, Hopefully Kawhi comes back and everything works out great because this is a fun team to watch. So that's the video for me, guys. I want to hear your thoughts down below as I wrap this up. But yeah, that's basically it. I'm a peace out, A-Town. Till next time, guys. But peace out.